Quadratic voting is a decision-making exercise where you can cast votes to express your preference and how strongly you feel for it. You will not just be voting for or against an issue. Instead, you will be given a set number of credits to cast votes across multiple issues. But here's the trade-off. If you want to cast more votes for the same issue, the more credits it will cost you. How much more? The number of credits spent will be the number of votes squared. Casting one vote will cost you one credit. Casting two votes for the same issue will cost you four credits in total. And so on and so forth. With a limited number of credits, you have to prioritize voting for the issues that are more important to you. The squaring of credits with each additional vote deters you to put all your eggs in one basket, since it is not the best use of your credits, unless you feel extremely strongly for that issue that is. In fact, the freedom to express your intensity of priority across issues helps protect the interests of small interest groups from what the majority prefers. It is not a winner-takes-all situation. Let's put the importance of that into perspective. In most situations, we are used to having only one vote to vote on one issue. But this can lead to an outcome that is preferred by the majority. On the other hand, the outcome of quadratic voting ultimately boils down to this question. How much are you willing to pay for the issues that you care about? In this pre-budget conversation, we will be looking at multiple themes and issues, all of which are seemingly important. But quadratic voting lets us hear your voice and have a clearer picture on what you believe is important and should be prioritised. Now that you know a little bit more about this method of voting, how will you make it count? <laughs>